Welcome to this week's Fantasy Baseball Cafe's Forum Trade Talk. I'm Jason Gilbo, breaking down five trades for you. Um, of course, we got a ton going around the Major League Baseball right now, but of course, a ton going around the fantasy world, and a couple of new ones out there in the real world today. Uh, we get Matt Latos and Alex Wood heading off to the Dodgers, which got finalized, and the big one, David Price heading off to Toronto. So. That's a huge upgrade there for Toronto, keeping Marcus Stroman, but of course Daniel Norris is off, the guy in the van, uh, heading to Detroit, so Price is going to give them a big boost and see if they can really make a run, and um, the good thing is they kept, they kept Marcus Stroman, which I really like there for, for Toronto, so uh, some really nice moves, and then last night was a, a debacle in New York, uh, everyone thought Carlos Gomez was heading off to, to the Big Apple, um, that's not the case, uh, Things stalled. Uh, Mets were worried about Gomez's health, apparently, is what the rumors are. But Gomez is still with the Brewers, and they still expect to uh, ship him off before the deadline. So I'll be curious to see where he lands. All right, let's jump right into things. With trade number one, we're looking at a starter for a reliever. John Lackey for Jonathan Papelbon. And Papelbon's value just skyrocketed going to the Nationals. He's going to get a lot more opportunities going forward for the rest of the way, just with a winning ball club. Play a lot of close games. Um, as we saw today, the Nationals won one nothing. Papelbon came in and shut the door on for uh, Scherzer's win there. Lackey, Lackey's been really pretty good this season. Um, you know, I, I rank him slightly above average, I guess. You know, but not not great. Um, and looking ahead here, I have no problem. I would actually really like to get Papelbon and flip him. I would like to probably to to get Lackey or. Uh, Get Lackey out of there, get Papelbon in, and try and flip him for someone better than Lackey. Um, someone's going to be chasing saves that's pretty close, and you can really upgrade upgrade a pitcher with Papelbon, and maybe even pair him up with someone else to get a real nice tier starter. So I like that move a lot, and that's probably what I would do. But I have no problem anyway if you're keeping going for saves to, to trade Papelbon for Lackey. Or uh, trade Lackey for Papelbon. Sorry, that's a, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, trade number two, uh, one involving Carlos Gomez here. Johnny Cueto for Carlos Gomez, straight up. Uh, not a fan. I'd rather have the Cueto side going forward for the rest of the season. And, of course, Cueto's going to get a – he just got a big boost moving to Kansas City. Carlos Gomez, uh, still yet to see where he lands. But I would trade for someone a little higher than Gomez. Gomez has been struggling this season. That upside hasn't been there. That possible 25 to 30 stolen bases with – 25 homers or so it's just not there it's not going to happen um it's been a disappointing season for Gomez and fantasy owners that, that have him but I'm aiming a little higher um I really like someone in, in the Starling Marte range for Cueto that that's probably who I would go after that that tier right there um I mean Cueto's worth for the rest of the season is going to be great and Marte's been been a nice ad been putting up kind of real Carlos Gomez type numbers with on the base paths as well as in the power game. Hitting in a pretty good spot in the lineup now. He's been in second over the last a week or so, but always in the top five. Uh, McCutcheon's hitting behind him. Kang's been, been hitting well. They just picked up Ramirez. So uh, I would really shoot for a guy like Marte, um, to be honest, and get, you know, if, if you have excess pitching. I think that's a pretty good move there. Um, but as for this trade, I, I would not do that one. Trade number three, um, this one's kind of pretty lopsided in my opinion. Uh, Souza for Lance McCullers out of Houston. McCullers has been really good this season. Um, the strikeout rate's great. Uh, starting to get the walk rate down, picking up wins for this ball club. They're the reason why they're going to be taken seriously throughout the uh, rest of the year here, and especially adding Scott Casimir. So Souza, you know, he's a nice power, nice stolen base guy. Those are great, great stats, but uh, hitting 230 is, is pretty bad. Um, the strikeout rate is just ridiculous. And if Souza doesn't have a significant role, I would love to ship him off for a guy like, like McCullers. So that's, that's a really good deal right there. Tree number four. Uh, this one's tough. Guy's really looking for an ace, and he's targeting Jake Arrieta for and giving up Carlos Correa and David Ortiz. Um, I mean, I'm pretty high on Carlos Correa right now, and listen, uh, listen to this guy's staff. It's Cole Hamels, Carlos Carrasco, Jordan Zimmerman, Jason Hamill, Alex Wood, Noah Syndergaard, McCullers, um, Patrick Corbin, and Ivan Nova. 
it's a pretty solid staff. I mean, yeah, you could be lacking a real tier one ace, but I think Hamels and Carrasco are, are real just outside that cut line and, and really solid. And guys like Zimmerman and Hamill and Wood are really nice waiver wire ads, I'm sure, or late round picks that you probably grab for. Cindergard and, and McCullers are just great, great for the rest of the season. And I really like Patrick Corbin. He was a guy I was kind of advocating to to pick up um, and put on your bench for a little bit until he's gotten going. And he's looked really good in his last two starts, and, and he's getting the slider working again, which is his big strikeout pitch, and, and that's been working really well. So, I mean, overall, I, I like the rotation. I don't think it needs it needs Arietta. Um And I really think, you know, Ortiz in the util spot, yeah, it's, it's a weak spot. He's starting to hit the ball a little bit better. Um you know, you got, there's Giancarlo Stanton on the DL and Miguel Cabrera on the DL. So obviously hurting with injuries, but they, they should be back here for the, for the playoff push. Uh, I'm taking, I, I just value Korea's offensive ability in, in the shortstop position going forward the rest of the season. It's just too, too, uh, too good to pass up. Um, I think the pitching is good enough. So I think you should be able to last, um, I mean, a 10, a 10 team league. You should be able to stream and work with what you got. If, if Nova's your guy, you can easily flush in and out of the lineup. Um, I'm keeping Correa and I'm keeping Ortiz. Final trade here. Uh, this one I'm pretty happy about. We are taking a look. It is Carlos Gomez and Jake Odorizzi for Andrew McCutcheon and Jason Hamill uh, in the Dynasty League. So a nice Dynasty League one we're looking to value here. Uh, I value McCutcheon a lot higher than Gomez. I value Odorizzi a lot higher than, eh, not a lot higher, but a little bit higher than Jason Hamill. Um, overall, I think I like McCutcheon Hamill's side. That's probably my favorite. Um, McCutcheon's been been really solid since he's kind of getting his full health back. We know what McCutcheon can do. Gomez dealing with nagging injuries. We're not sure what what is where he's going to go. Um, I like the idea of, of getting rid of Gomez and, and bumping him up to McCutcheon. And Hamill's not a huge downgrade from Odorizzi. Um, Hamill's been really decent with Chicago. He's kind of figured things out there after that horrible start against Philly, though. Um, that was pretty bad. But overall, I like McCutcheon. I like Hamill. Um, I think overall, this guy's roster adding Hamill or uh, a high quality average bat like McCutcheon's going to round out an, an outfield like Cole Calhoun and Justin Upton here. And. Uh, looking at pitching, um, Clayton Kershaw, Jacob DeGrom, Garrett Richards, real solid three guys, um, and I really think Hamill just fits in with all the other guys in, in your rotation there, so you really have three quality arms, two real top two arms with DeGrom really coming into a solid fantasy value this season, so not bad, but I uh, I take McCutcheon and Hamill uh, pretty easily over Gomez and Odorizzi there. All right, that's five. Uh, we'll wrap it up here at Fantasy Baseball Cafe's Forum Trade Talk.